welcome to Dime Days. I'm Abby. And I'm Bree. She's a seven. And she's a three. Welcome to our first of hopefully our many videos of just us giving our two cents. Today we're going to talk about us because <laughs> it's important who you follow and what you know about them before you hear our two cents. So today we're going to play 10 questions um, and we'll just jump into it. I All guess. right. Awesome. Uh, where are we from? I'm from Arizona. Born and raised. <laughs> I am not from Arizona, but I've lived here since 2011, so I'll just say I'm from Arizona now because I've lived all over Florida, Washington, all over. Yay. How did we meet? <laughs> this is a which, long story. Which version of the story yeah. do you want to tell? Okay, do you want to tell your half? And then I'll tell no, you. Half? You can start. Okay, once upon a time, <laughs> um, two years ago, Abby was working at the school and. <laughs> <laughs> Our good friend Mr. Schneider started calling her J Law by her nickname, and I was really upset because I've known him for three years before then, and he didn't have a nickname for me. Yeah. So we met at a, technically our first place meeting was Barrow's Pizza. Yeah, when we all the math team went out for lunch. Yeah, and so yeah, that's how we kind of met. <laughs> <laughs> um, but so I didn't really like her at first because Mr. Schneider liked her, <laughs> and I wanted to be the only girl that everyone liked. I was kidding. <laughs> No, I was just insecure. So, um, <laughs> but we, we worked through that. It worked. We worked through it. It's fine. And then we became like best friends overnight. I'm really not sure when we started liking. I mean, I've always liked you. First of all, oh, let me okay. let me just say that. <laughs> uh, I think so. I was the Title One teacher, so I didn't. I wasn't officially like a math teacher, but I helped kids who needed help. Yeah. And one of the math teachers left one day. My partner. So, yeah. <laughs> I took over for him. I think that's really when. Yeah, we became yeah, close. Yeah, close. Yeah. Really close. Yeah. Yeah. So he just kind of abandoned ship, yeah. like, the middle of the year. The week before spring break. I was crying a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It was but then Abby showed up, and it was the best thing ever. Yeah. So it was really good that she came, mm -hmm. so I'm not really upset about it. <laughs> so speaking of how we met, how long have you been teaching? How long have you been teaching? This will be my third year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Three years. Yeah. <laughs> and then I am going into my fourth year. Yeah. Fourth yeah. Year. We're both Grand Canyon alumni, so looks up. up. <laughs> that was so cute. It was unplanned. <laughs> it's just indoctrinated in your yeah. you grad. Like, it's just in your brain. <laughs> yeah. All the purple is just like bleeding through. Yes. Yeah, we bleed purple. Yep. Um, how long have we been married? Not to each other. <laughs> to our spouses. We're not <laughs> to each other. <laughs> um, so I've been married. It'll be two years this September. And how'd you guys meet? Um, Abe and I met at GCU. We were both life leaders and we just hit it off right away. I was like, that's it. And <laughs> he, he took some convincing, but over time he liked me. <laughs> well, enough to marry. Yeah, enough to marry me, I guess. Yeah. So um, that's how we met. Yeah. Uh, and what then, we've we been, it'll be five years in December and we met in high school. We didn't date in high school. We probably we wouldn't be together if we dated in high school. <laughs> so we did it after high school. <laughs> uh, what's your favorite drink? Okay. This is very serious. From Starbucks, because it's the only place I can get it right without messing me up. Mm -hmm. It's an iced vanilla chai with soy milk. Mm -hmm. It's really not complicated, but some places can't get it right. Yeah. And we're both lactose intolerant. Yes. That's a fun fact. Dairy so. allergy and gluten for me. Yeah. Yeah. Dairy hardcore. Yeah. Okay. It will kill me <laughs> and happy. Yeah. yeah. And wreck my stomach. And then my favorite drink is Diet Coke, which is so basic, but like it just like it's it's water. You don't need anything. Right, right. You need Diet Coke. Right. And like hers is cheaper than mine, so. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm more frugal than you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You are what makes you laugh? Um, <laughs> everything. Anything and everything. Everything. I, yeah. It really could be something random that's really not funny. And yeah. everyone's like, Free, why are you laughing? I'm like, because it's just funny. I don't know. But what, what makes you laugh every time? Every time? What's something consistent? Dad jokes. Yes. Yeah. Puns. Puns. I'm yeah. infamous for the dad jokes and puns. You yeah. will get a couple of those. Hence, dime days and <laughs> <Yeah>. two cents. <laughs> yeah. They fit hand in hand because yeah. it's punny. So that's probably what makes you laugh every time. What yeah. about you? I agree. Puns are funny, but I also think it's hilarious when people think they're hilarious. Yeah. Like, when, <laughs> like when someone like is about to say something and they think it's so funny. And even if it's not funny, and if, you know, it's just weird. Just at me next time, just yeah. at me. Uh, right? I think it's so funny when people think they're funny. Like, it just cracks me up. Because it's like, there's so much joy right. in thinking you're funny. Exactly. <laughs> I think that's why we get along. Because <laughs> I think you're funny because you think you're funny. I think I'm funny. Uh, who do you look up to the most? Um, I thought about that. Do 
I look up to them. Can't say Jesus. I, I mean, <laughs> why? <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> I know, I know. I think who I look up to the most, probably my mom. Oh. She's really brave and strong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, what was that? Uh, Dave Ramsey. Yeah, he's because pretty cool. Wish he was my dad. I have, you know, my dad's fine, but. <laughs> Dave Ramsey's great. <laughs> wow, episode one, we get into it. Well, you know, everyone's got baggage. Yeah, people. Oh, true. Um, how would you type yourself? I'm an extroverted extrovert, yeah. as everyone calls me. I don't have downtime unless I'm dying or sick. Yeah, unless you're like, you hit a wall all yeah. of a sudden, and then. It's usually because I'm tired, hungry, your body emotional. Yeah. Or my, dairy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If I eat dairy, it's game over. I'm closing up shop. <laughs> yeah. Even then, I try to like laugh it out, but like my body's <laughs> like stop. You're, you're in pain. You need to knock it off. Yeah. So I think I think that. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you're also what did we say? Type A and a half. Or type oh. B and a half. You're type B and, type and, a, half. B and a half. Yeah. So. I guess it only makes sense if you explain how you are because I'm super type A. <laughs> like I love organization and I love like I'm not like a chaotic organist like everything has a place and I'm not that there's like a rhyme and a reason <laughs> for everything <laughs> if you walk into so. our classrooms it's an oh obvious difference right away like my stuff is in organized piles yeah. across the room and you walk in you're like well it looks like a hot mess because it is she knows where it is I know exactly nobody where else, it's at nobody else could find it yeah so when a sub comes in to, to cover yeah. for me good luck you won't yeah. find it what you're looking for without me <laughs> yeah um where Abby it's pretty user friendly for everyone <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, that's a great way to explain it <laughs> you walk user in you're friendly. like ah yeah. the binder in the cabinet mm -hmm. of course right my binder probably buried under, under a your lot desk. of piles under your desk <laughs> under her tablecloth <laughs> I have a tablecloth to hide my crap. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, I'm super type A organized, and then I'm an introverted extrovert. Like I need, like I love people, but I need downtime. Yeah, I don't know every what single that means. day. I'm also a cuddler, and she is not. I hate like don't touch. Not physical touch. Don't touch. So like coronavirus is great because no one's attempted to hug me, and I've had to, you know, it's say been no to nobody. It's been my personal tragedy. <laughs> so <laughs> so yes, yeah, so I'm I'm type A. So we call her type B and a half because yep. she's not like type B where. It's like lackadaisical. Right. You have like you have. It works in its your, own. You have your own system. Right. Right. Yeah. Correct. It's like it almost understands itself. Yeah. We're like I don't. I yeah. It's universal for you. I feel yeah. like <laughs> everyone understands what's going on with you. Exactly. Like, like Breeze is kind of like okay. Yeah, she tried. <laughs> Uh, also, it's kind of funny because uh, she's A and I'm B, like Abby yes, and Bree. Abby. So it works out really well when we describe We people. were meant to be together. We were meant to be <laughs> A. <laughs> she's a pun. And she thinks she's really funny. I am. <laughs> but I really think so sometimes. But you are. You are. Thank you. You're appreciate welcome. that. <laughs> so is Abby. Abby oh, has her moments of yeah. just hilariousness. <laughs> But also because of your preciseness, it's like you're, it's almost like a car accident. Like you're not expecting it, so it's 10 times more dramatic when, when you make a really good joke yeah. because it's funny. It's I don't know. That's true. Yeah, it's very precise. Funny. And it, it's very, it makes sense. Your mind's like, that was a stretch, <laughs> but we'll laugh because you're funny. So now last two questions. Why dime days? So dime days, funny story, back story. <laughs> we're driving home from the dollar store after four, four of them. dollar stores. Yes, we had to. And we were like, why aren't we vlogging this? This, like, the whole day was really fun. And I don't know, we have really good intellectual conversations. Yeah. Um, also, really funny ones. So we were like, it'd be cool to, like, share our two cents on things that, like, people talk about. Yeah. And then birthed the dying face. <laughs> yeah. um, but the reason why it got its name is because of the Enneagram. So the last question is, what is our Enneagram journey? So we'll kind of explain that and then we'll back up to why dying face. So, do you want to start or do you want me to start? You can start. Okay, so I first heard of the Enneagram from Annie F. Downs. She has a podcast called, what's that, that sounds fun. Um, so I follow her and she's talking about the Enneagram and then I took the test and I was typed as a two, which a lot of women are apparently. Um, and then I did more research and I am a three with a two wing on the Enneagram. And I'm a seven wing eight. Yes. So, um, like for me, that means like, I know there's a lot of different opinions about Enneagram, mm -hmm. but like for me, that means I'm the excited one. I like to have parties and host parties and I like colors, <laughs> not, not, not to wear. I don't like to wear <laughs> colors, but I like colorful things and sparkles and all the things that you think of a seven. I'm that with an, I'm an explanation point. That was a punctuation. Yes, exactly. Don't you think? Mm -hmm. What yeah. would you be? Um, probably. 
semicolon. Semicolon. Which one's the one where you make lists? Semicolon separates. Yeah. So it's kind of it's two separate sentences so come together. Because I'm, I'm list. I'm a father. And now, so we both have to I'm a colon. <laughs> <laughs> I like lists. It's very precise to the point. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it makes sense for you. Yeah. But mm -hmm. we also both used to be math teachers. So it's funny. I'm still a math teacher. Oh, uh, yeah. I've moved on to she ELA. left me. <laughs> I like things a little more gray. Yeah. <laughs> yes. A little more. My life is black and white. Yeah. <laughs> That's the color. <laughs> But yeah, so it works out. Yeah, sorry, Neagram. It's not like, you know, you're your horoscope and what are, I'm a Libra. What are you? I'm a Leo. I just like don't believe that. Like a constellation doesn't right. define me. But the Enneagram, it's different for everyone. So anybody can be a three, right? No matter what they've experienced or whatever. It's just, and it's all about your intentions. So a lot of women are typed as two because they're like, you were even typed yeah. as a two at first. first yeah. Because women are so helpful and that, you know, motherly nature. Right. But it's really about what your intentions are. And so that's kind of what the Enneagram does. It, just, it tells you kind of what your, I don't want to say actions are, but like what yeah. your. More like what you actually do, like what you right. carry out and how right. you actually like, yeah, when you have, when you do something, what you, your intentions behind it are this. And you guys pretty cool, which is why it's dime days because I'm a seven, or I'm a three. <laughs> I'm a three, she's a seven, and seven plus three is ten. ten. And everyone wants to be a perfect ten. Right. So. And we always joke, that was the other thing too. Yeah. When Abby and I were both on the same team for math, like mm -hmm. we always joked that we were like the perfect person. Right. Like if we could just, together. <laughs> because her strength of like being uber organized, I super lack on. Yeah. I, I'm organized in my own fashion, yeah. but like your sense of organization is like up there. Yeah. And mine's like, well, help. <laughs> um, so we always joke and she always wants my creativity. So we're like, let's join forces, yeah. start a YouTube channel. Yeah. Cause I think it'd be really fun. Yeah. Um, that's the seven part. She's like, logically, <laughs> how can we make that work? So yes. it's, this is us combining forces to make a YouTube channel. Yeah, and give our, and, you know, honey, give our two cents. Just because we do have very similar belief systems, but we carry yeah. it out with different intentions behind yeah. those belief systems. So yeah. that is all 10 questions. That is us. So that's us in a nutshell. Go ahead and check us out on our Instagram handle, dime underscore days where we're gonna post some updates and um, links to our newest YouTube videos on there. Yeah, and we'll see you guys next week with more of our two cents. Bye. Bye.